next part of the program, we're going to go into Church Windows Payroll. And it's telling me right off the bat that the current date is outside the year and that there are some posted transactions that's waiting for me to create an EFT file. Uh, I actually need to restore a data backup so that I'm able to show you a little more of what we are doing here. Uh, let's see, let's go into training data. And I just restored a backup. It's actually that quick and easy. So, let's see, it's, it should bug me a little bit less now. Yeah, it's, I know it's outside of payroll year, uh, but I'm able to calculate a payroll. Okay, in church windows, there's a little, in payroll, there's a little bit of setup involved. We need to get the basic employee file information in place. The person's name, address, social security number, whether they're paid hourly, salary, how often they're paid, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. We can put in the hours that they typically work, although these can be adjusted, their current pay rate. Church Windows Payroll also tracks accumulated vacation and sick time by either hour, hourly units, day units, or, um, or partial day units. Uh, more information that we can get in for them is uh, date of birth, their position, when they were hired, when they were fired, when their last raise was, how much their last raise was, and here comes something important, folks. Banking information for EFT. Yes, Church Windows will absolutely deposit your employees' net pay directly into their checking accounts or whatever account they designate electronically. We have a lot of confidence in our product here at Church Windows. Our our CFO actually uses church windows to pay us. So I can attest to the fact that it works because I get paid uh, and she uses church windows payroll. So um, just as a quick aside, we also use church windows membership to keep track of all the churches who use church windows. We kind of use the household side as the church itself and then the individual side as those individuals within each church who use the program. So um, we do a lot of work on your behalf with Church Windows Payroll. We keep track of and consistently issue service releases that contain the most current federal tax rates, can Canada tax rates, and all 50 U.S. state tax rates. Um, so we are actually getting ready to release uh, another one because the, the government finally decided how much it's gonna, going to charge, and we had a few states that were kind of slow in deciding. You still have control in the program of additional withholding by dollar amount or by percentage. And of course, with this being payrolls, church payroll software, we know how to handle minister self-employment tax and handle the many, many ways that churches pay their pastors or that pastors request to be paid by their churches. For local taxes, there would be way too many for us to possibly uh, keep track of and keep in the system, but they're very easy to enter. Deductions, we want to enter the things that come out of a person's pay. So health, dental, vision, uh, life insurance, FSA, cafeteria plans, anything like that that will come out of a person's pay, we can add here. We can add allowances, things that go back into a person's pay, uh, cell phone, car, housing, anything like that. And once we've got all that in place, we can actually calculate a payroll. And I'm going to kind of go through it as far as I can today. Let's say I'm paying everybody mm, today for the pay period ending today. We'll go with that. On step two, it's going to ask who I want to pay. Do I want to pay a specific person? Do I want to pay just the hourly people, just the salary people, just the monthly pay people, just the music staff? Who am I paying? Feeling generous today. Let's pay everybody. Uh, on step three, I have the ability to maybe uh, modify the hours someone works for an hourly type thing. Make sure that a deduction that's only supposed to come out monthly is coming out appropriately. Just kind of a way to get an overview before you before you go any further. Then the system wants to know which reports you'd like to print. And then, am I ready to post payroll? Yes. Am I ready to create the electronic file to send off to the bank? Yes. Do I want to print checks for those who still want a paper check? Yes. And do I want to transfer these totals over into accounting? Yes. Click finish and that's how simple it is actually to run payroll. 
I'm going to go one step further here just to kind of show you what the checks look like in church windows. Oh, uh, well, okay, let me mark one to print. Um, oh, I guess I need a starting check number two. All right, there we go. Okay, check number, and let's go in. Here we go. Here is what a check looks like. There it, they come out in stub, check, stub format, where typically the church keeps a stub and gives the other two portions to the employee for those who want a paper check. For those who want an electronic, che uh, electronic deposit, we typically just give them this sheet of paper on regular inkjet, uh, you know, just a regular printer. Just print this out and hand it to them. I'm zooming into the stub here so we can see how nice and neatly it's laid out and how it does a good job showing a person how their gross pay becomes typically their much smaller net pay unless they have a bunch of allowances like this person. Um, so it shows you the the gross taxable earnings for pay period year to date, Social Security, Medicare, Federal, anything like that. It's kind of a bad example there because it's a pastor. Uh, let's go to the my next page. It might be a little might be a little better information, a little typical more a little more typical where the uh where the uh, uh gross where the gross is higher than the net no here we go uh this is giving me a report and it's all ready to transfer to accounting so but you get the idea very nice neat layout for payroll checks now i mentioned that in payroll it handles all of the tax reports, and here they are. Federal, state, local, 941, 944, W234, uh, 1099, 1096. And we do have electronic filing available built into the program. So uh, if you want to not have to print and mail these things in, you can file them electronically. So, All right, my friends, that wraps up payroll. There's one more part of the...